Hello and welcome again, Razan and Malak, for this new lesson. Uh, third, secondary grade, first semester, unit three, vocabulary, grammar. Prepared by Turkey, Al Fafi, and presented by me, Faisal Shahri. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate and raise it up. I think most of you now uh, get familiar with the uh, lesson objectives. Today, uh, we have more than five. Welcome, Ryu, Malak, Razan, all of you. Uh, you will be enriched with the new vocabularies. You will be able to overcome this understanding of confused meaning in some words. You will be able to pronounce English word correctly. You will be able to use these new words suitable uh, in a suitable expression. And you will be distinguish the past or past symbol with the past progressive. And the final objective of our lesson today, you will be able to overcome this understanding regarding to these sentences. I know it's many objectives, but we are going to uh, divide it as a piece of slides. So uh, step by step, we are going to move in this lesson. All right, question for you, Malak, Razan, and Ryuf. Do you know the meaning of blame, cues, charge, conflict, or even sentence? Have you, uh, do you have any idea about those meanings? I'm waiting for you. All right, can you tell me what's meaning of accuse? Or even conflict, or charge? You can write it as an example or sentence. Sometimes you can write the opposite. You can, um, for example, blame. I think it's not uh, it's not difficult to, uh, to to write a sentence about it because we 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 doing the we are blaming ourselves many times. Oh, that's great! Uh, you said I blame my sister for breaking my phone. That's happening, and also charger for stealing that charger. We are suffering in um, in our uh, home from um, stealing the chargers of our mobile. We couldn't find it sometimes. Is that happening with you? Did you miss your charger when you want to charge your phone? That sounds great. Okay, thank you so much, Ryu. We are going to move ahead. Uh, we want to complete the table with the missing words. All right. For example, Rub. We need to write uh, the name. Also, we need to write for uh, one. Uh, for example, shop left. We have uh, theft. We need to write. How can we call it? Uh, the one who steal is it the same pronunciation or the same uh, letters so if you help me with that what is the name of the word Rob or if a murder this is the uh, okay steal yeah but we, we need to write it uh, the same, yeah, but the same word. Yeah, it sounds great for you. You are doing great job. Rubbery, yeah. Welcome, Farouk. Yes, absolutely right for you. Sounds great. I'm waiting the others. Okay. Uh, what about kidnapping? Yeah. Welcome, Farouk. Welcome back, also, Razan. Can we write kidnapper? That sounds great. Quick enter. Yeah, that's good. Farouk is typing uh, kidnapper. Okay. Uh, sounds great. Hijack, hijacking. Can we write? What about time? Welcome, Naif. 
Welcome. Okay. Sounds great to you if you're talking very, very well. Good. Excellent. Now we are going to see all together the related word to each verb. The word is rob. As you said, Ryu, for robbery, and uh, for one person you can say robber, right? Theft, thief, um, murder, murder, okay, hijack, hijacker, as you say it's your rule. Alright, any questions up to now? Regarding those words, because we still, we have, yeah, still we have uh, many, many sentences regarding uh, the words. What do you want, Naif? Which word do you want to translate? Because we are we are we are translating, but not in Arabic. Uh, almost in different way. We are using uh, sometimes the opposite. We are using sometimes the sentence to explain. All right. Can anyone help us? When did we use the word hijacker? Can anyone tell us when did we use the word hijack? I think Malak is typing. Yeah, but now we are not talking, uh, now if we are not talking about the tense, we are talking about uh, how to use. Okay? You are right, Shuru. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, excellent for you. Well done. Sounds great. Okay? Sounds great, everyone. If you have any questions, or we should move to another um, slide regarding the vocabulary. Move. Right. Now, please, uh, I need your help with this. We have four different sentences. We have Rogue, Steel, Burgle, and Mike. So uh, we need to put uh, the right sentence, uh, the right word, in the right sentence. And I need your help. Uh, we want just to make an order. Okay, the first uh, sentence will be for you. Uh, uh, who is, is it? Shuruq, uh, okay. Number two for Naif. Number three for uh, Malak. And four for Riyuf. The rest, we are going to take uh, another sentence. I'm waiting you. Okay, and uh, number two for Naif. Someone tried to my grandfather the other day, but he beat him with his can. Okay, number two, Malak says stole or steal. I'm waiting for knife. Okay, uh, number three. Okay, Ryu said number four, burgled. Okay, uh, what's about number three? Someone opened my briefcase and my passport. What do you think? Uh, I think in Malak, is it for you? Steal. Okay, stole. All right, did we finish? One, two, three, four. Because we want to check. We want to check together the... Okay, good. Good night. Yep. All right, we will see. Closing your eyes for about... Closing your eyes. Here we go. Number one. Rob, uh, I think you say another word. I'm not sure um, who is number one, Shuru. Number two, absolutely right, knife. Number three, stole. Amber gold. Sounds great, Ryuf. And also, Malak. Well, well, well. I need to write four different stars. I'm not sure who is number one. Is it Shuru? Is, is she Shuru? Or... Yeah, that's fine. Star for you trying. Okay. Sounds great. We will move to the same uh, exercise, but different sentence and different words. All right. So I need your help with that, please. 
five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let's say, all right, uh, because I want to make the, Shuru, can you take number six, if you wouldn't mind, please? Okay. Number five for Raza, number six for Shuru, number seven will be for Naif, and number uh, eight will be for Malak. Okay? Yes, I need your help with that, please. I'm waiting you. Number one, prevent. What about number two? Uh, sorry, number five, prevent. Num uh, number six, avoid. Number eight, forbid. Sounds great, Malak. What about number seven? Oh, is number seven, is it knife? Number seven. Did we say uh, number seven, guys? Not yet. I'm waiting you, knife. I'm waiting for you, knife. Okay. I think the job easy. Do you, uh, Malak said, Malak said for bed. If you want to say the same thing, it's up to you. But I think the job is easy for you. Okay. Okay. You can guess. I think it's not difficult if all of them choose the three uh, words. Uh, it will left with one. Okay. Uh, so we will see together the answers. The first one will be panned. Uh, panned. Number one, avoid. Uh, number two, avoid. Forbid three. And the last one, prevent. Okay. Oh, that's great now. Well done, everyone. Okay. Sounds great. If you have any questions, you can ask. If you have any questions. All right. Now, the number nine will be for Ryuf, and number ten will be for... Who would like number ten? Who would like to answer number ten? No one feels safe again once they have seen the of the crime. This will be number nine will be for Ryuf. And number ten, who would like to answer number ten? The bank robbers are holding over twenty in the bank. Okay, number ten for Razan, what about eleven? Shuruk, that's fine. I'm waiting you. Ryuf. Razan Shuru, Victor. Sounds great. We will see together the answers. Okay. Okay, what about the others? Uh, number 10. I think uh, 10 for Razan. Okay, number 10 will be hostage. Okay. Uh, we will write to. We're going to write number 10. I'm waiting for you, Razan. I think you're number. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Maybe I did not get it because. Yeah, sorry, I'll try. I'll try to see because we have, uh, mashallah, more than five. Oh, sorry, number ten. Okay, the last one will be witnesses. Okay. Well, the last one will be witnesses, so the job is easy now. No need to write it. Okay. We will see together now. Your answers, okay. There we go. Victim, houses, our witnesses, absolutely 100%. Right. 
Well done, boys and girls. Well done. Sounds great. Okay, I think this is the last slide regarding vocabulary. So, I need your help with that. Uh, should I select or you want? Because this one is absolutely uh, the same number as you. Uh, if you want me to select, I will select for you. From the top. Okay, Shuruk 13. Malak 16. Uh, sorry, Razan 16. Uh, what about you, Malak, Naif? Okay, you can write your answers, please. 14 will be for knife. Go ahead, my friend. Sixteen will be sentence. Okay. Uh, plain for thirteen. Tony claimed his boss for stealing money from the company. He was sentenced of blackmail, spent many years in prison. Number 15, the police have enough evidence to charge the man with a curse, right? Uh, what about number 14? Who is 14? Knife, are you 14? Okay. Alright, I'm waiting for you answers. Okay. So can you write your answers to check together? All right. Perfect. We will see now. Do not please forget your answers. Plain or plain number one, accused number two, sentence number three, and chart for the last sentence convicted. Some correct, some Oh, never mind. Never mind. We all try. Okay. Do you have any questions about the previous slide, the previous slide regarding uh, words and vocabulary? Before we move to the next, uh, um, we can call it objectives of today, which is grammar. Okay. Now, I think most of you come across on this, warming up a bit before we go deep in the grammar rule. While I was studying, my brother came. This means the two actions happened in the same or at the same time. Two, one happened after the other, and one of the actions interrupt the other. All right. While I was studying, um, we will see either whether one, two, three, or even uh, one of the three sentences, okay? Please pay attention, all of you here. Uh, as they were waving their revolves, um, revolvers around, the first one shouted to terrify, to the terrify assistant, to the end customer, nobody move or we should. Okay, unfortunately, when his nervous partner moved, the first robber immediately shot him. Now, the questions or the point for you all, in which of the two sentences did the actions happen one after the other? Which tense is used? If you can rem remember the, 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 the quick two sentences above. Also, in which of the two sentences did one of action interrupt the other? Okay. Now, but we want to take it step by step, if you would mind, please. Okay, two sentences did uh, the actions happen one after the other, so... Is it the first sentence or two, or the second one? Okay, good. The second one, did you agree with uh, Rosa? Unfortunately, his nervous partner moved. The first robber immediately shot him. One action habit, uh, 
after the other. Okay, so one. Can we say did the actions interrupt another? As they waving, we waving their revolvers around. The first one shouted to the terrified assistant. Well, the point behind, just to make sure you know, uh, in the past, sometimes one sentence interrupt the other sentence, and sometimes the one action happened after uh, the other. All right? This is the point behind. Because we are going to see uh, some sentences do the same thing. Now, this time, last Sunday, I was swimming in Caribbean. Okay? Uh, this is, can we say uh, one action interrupt the other or one, act, uh, one action happen after the other, the first one? Can we say one action after the other? One after the other? Yes, no, yes? Okay, Malak, Shuru, one after, okay, good. Uh, number two, when I was, oh, you have stabbing. Okay. Uh, when I was a boy, I often watched cartoons on TV. Michael lived in Mexico from 1981 to 2010. Oh, sounds great. Sure, it was cold. It was, it was raining heavily. Okay. We will see the next slide, also different sentence. My former flatmate was always talking on the phone. I bought a new mobile phone yesterday. The burglar opened the safe and took the jewelry. While we were having dinner, we heard a loud noise from upstairs. Sim was sitting the table while his wife was making salad. All this regarding the past tense, and you can see here, please do not forget and keep in mind the past symbol, the second form, the verb to, and we, use, uh, we call it time expressions, okay, time expressions, we can use it with the past symbol, uh, I played football yesterday, uh, I played football last week, I read the book uh, one year ago, okay, this is a structure of past symbol. Why do we call past symbol? Because the verb looks symbol, okay, the verb looks symbol. Uh, the past progressive, we notice, we use after the subject was or where it depends on the subject, plus the verb and ing, and it's, uh, you know, we can use when and while as with uh, past progressive. Um, it's not necessarily, but you can use uh, with it, especially if you're talking about two actions. All right. So keep in mind, we call it progressive because it's happening at a certain time in the past. Uh, past symbol. It's the verb of the verb uh, look symbol, and also. Finish action. Okay, finish action. All right, any question regarding the past symbol and the past progressive? If you have any questions, anything keep in mind. If you want to ask about past symbol or past progressive, I'm here to answer, please. All of you. Razan, Shuruq, Ryuf, Malak. All right. Uh, simple past. Simple past and past progressive. We can see in some uh, revision a bit. A bit. Uh, we can also use, use while with past progressive. 
and we are using also while sometimes the path or symbol path. So keep in mind if you want to talk about finished action, use the path symbol. If you want to talk about certain time in the past, especially two actions, talk in the past continuous or progressive. Okay? Here we go with how to use the path symbol is used for completed, as I told you, completed actions. Okay? Uh, also, completed action habit one after the another in the past. Past habits or repeated action. We call it habitual. Uh, permanent situation in the past. An action in the past that interrupts longer action in the progress. Okay? This is regard past symbol. Uh, now we are going to see the past progressive action was progress that was progress in the definite uh, time in the past. An action progress in the past that interrupts by another action. Actions happening at the same time in the past. Sitting the same well in Another thing, and repeated past actions or knowing past habits with always, constantly, and continually. It sounds great for you. It sounds clear. If you want to ask, please do not hesitate. I want to divide one, two, three. Someone want to, if you want to, number one for Shuruk, what about two? Please complete it with past symbol or past progressive of the verbs between brackets. Okay? Uh, number one will be for Shuruq. If you would point Malak and Ryuf. Can you help me with two and three? Even one sentence. Because we are going to see it together later on. Okay, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting the answers. Okay, was driving stop did not. This is for one. Was got. Great, Malak. What about you, Ryu? Can you give us a bit about number three, my brother? Always get into trouble as a child. If you are there, Ryu. Okay. We will see now. Sorry for that. Uh, number one, was driving, stopped, wasn't wearing. And you say didn't, are you right? Uh, number two, was got, which is absolutely correct. True. And that's fine, unless you get two correct uh, words. Okay? Good. Uh, if you have any questions regarding the past symbol or the past progressive, here we go with the summary. If you remember, we started the lesson with topic of words easily, confuse and meaning. We did some exercise related to these words, and then we discussed the second topic of past symbol and past progressive, we did some exercise as well. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate. Uh, right. I would like to thank you for your participation, Malak, Shuruq, uh, which is really, really good, good, good. Uh, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask it, even then in the listen. I uh, would like to thank you and have a nice day. Uh -huh.